All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, me using a dry shield mouthpiece with a new bird suction mirror. Um, in the past, I've only used two HVE sources while air polishing, but I think, uh, you know, for now on, I'm probably going to use this technique with uh, the Cavitron also. Of course, you can't do this technique if you don't have two HVE valves. So a future video is going to be you know, how to install a second HVE, which is pretty easy, actually. Um, in the video, it's my wife. She's a patient in the video. Uh, she's got kind of a small mouth. Um, so it's kind of tight space. So she isn't the ideal uh, patient for the video, but you get the uh, gist of it. Um, also, when I'm recording the video, my camera is pretty close. I'm using the iPhone to record this. <laughs> Hopefully in the future I'll get some better equipment, but it's kind of in the way. So my movements are pretty awkward. It's not how I actually work. I'm not wearing my loops or anything, but it's just, uh, you know, kind of show you guys how I do it. So in the video, the main products, I'm using the Kona Adapter uh, DS version, which is for the dry shield. That's my personal product that I sell. And it's a small dry shield mouthpiece because my wife's mouth is small. Uh, it's a single use version. Dry Shield also has an autoclavable version of the mouthpiece. And then I have a new bird suction mirror. It's the Silver Raven um, version of it. It's uh, lighter, basically. Um, so with the Dry Shield or Isolite or any similar product, um, it does a good job overall to reduce aerosol, but not so much in the anterior teeth. The posterior teeth, it does an excellent job because you know the back of the mouth, the isolate mouthpiece or the dry shell mouthpiece is um, the walls of the mouthpiece are pretty close to the molars. So it, it really traps the aerosols back there. But with anterior teeth, uh, it still, you know, kind of splashes off the teeth, you know. So the whole purpose of this video and future videos, you know, using the two HVEs is to show how you can use two products at once. So you use a Newbird suction mirror or a, or a wide HVE uh, tip or other products I'm going to show in the future um, to really capture more of the anterior while the, the posterior is really taken care of by the dry shield or isolator or some other similar product. All right. So if you guys have any questions, um, just comment on the video. Uh, the links to the products in the video is uh, coneadapter.com, dryshield.com, and newbird.com. Thanks. Here we go, man. Right Do your thing. It's recording, guys. All right, hold on. I got to get my head back to place. There you go. 
And it's recording. Yeah. And it's still recording after you touched it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Kona Rocky, take 55. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it takes, man. <laughs> You want to be a YouTuber? <laughs> you think it's all smooth? Well, I'll be happy to be your... Really? <laughs>